Welcome on back everyone to Total War Warhammer 3 in part 12 of our Mother of Stonkia Mortal Empires campaign. In today's episode we are here for the siege and subsequent reclamation of Wartbad. The undead are holding the line here and I've got just two curse debuffs applied. I want to try to save up as many of our blessings as possible but we've got the Graveguard up here being affected by Agony Succession. And we've got quite a few Graveguard but I don't think they'll be able to stop the horde of beasties we have coming their way. Off the bat here, I'm moving my Oxina in so that way they can start firing over the walls. Same thing with the normal Kossars. And the Frostworm is going to move in and start tearing through those gates. Extreme lack of missiles here means we can be pretty aggressive with our uh, archers and just send them straight on in and let them start blasting away right away, especially since there are no towers. No threat to getting our archers in and doing as much damage as possible. Akwich taking out a few with that blast there, it even hit the ground, awesome. See some shots going through the gates. It'd be awesome if that actually managed to hit some units. But we've got a flock of doom but trying to rip off as much damage as we can there. While the slow and steady grind through the gate continues at pace. Paul's arrow kind of splashes a bit uselessly against the ramparts there, which is sad. But the undead look like they are having an absolute panic attack. Combination of ice and rock coming on down now just to keep damaging that captain unit and any of the blobs that they have uh, set up here for us. It's a bad day to be undead. Who needs artillery when you have mages? Another flock of doom coming on down. That's already a unit of skeleton warriors thinking about disintegrating away. They decided maybe not. We'll hold the line a bit longer. So a couple of horse spiders around the other side, but just to see exactly how much damage we can get. Again, we wanted to do a bit of testing, but that is so minimal that it's going to be best just for us to send them across the other way and uh, get some reinforcements in. Sheena doing some serious damage to these Graveguard. Those gates are starting to feel it. And the creaking and groaning of the wood now as the splinters are starting to probably fly through. Complete lack of towers on this map is one of the big reasons that the Empire is so easily overthrown. This is, I think, one of the main Empire maps. The other one also has very, very minimal towers. Some really bad choke points for the uh, actual defenders. See, I'm long over through these gates, almost. And the army is already quite Mattered. The good old uh, balance of power is firmly on our favor, even with extreme numerical disadvantage. Gates blast open, and now we can send the beasties in. Those bats thought about getting in there to try to disrupt us, and then felt the sting of the arrows and decided that's a little bit too much. Sent secondary gates are down now as well. Get that frost worm moving. Took quite some time to get on in, and we've got some, some lads drag racing outside, so I'll mute and you can watch the battle. And race complete. Who won? The world may never know. The lads come screaming in now. Both brothers, of course, smashing into that flank. Let's send in the bats. I think bats are going to have a pretty big disadvantage against the lightning. Since we have the double debuff there, most of the enemy can trigger down to near zero stats. Lightning blinds the fluff there up front. We'll send our forces forward. Idle wave and doom here. Good old battle songs from the Patriarch singing across the field. That's what that little sparkly, icy effect was there for a moment. Just ripping through the enemy line. Madness of Urson was active there for a moment. What I did is just activate all of the battle prayers and then send him into rampage mode, which worked out pretty well. Of 
fortunately for you lads, you've got a mixture of bear and extremely beefy boy. You're in for a bad time. And we've got the little spiders actually able to fill in between their gaps. I didn't mean to pause. Speed things back up to normal. And apply that uh, debilitating slow death effect. Summon the Snow Leopard now takes on off. Some more summons dropping on in now. Actually, we've got a little bit of a desync here because there were still enemies for us to charge into with this group of things that was before. Utter annihilation. That's why they're standing here and doing nothing. Auto Resolve did predict a decisive victory, but we fought it anyway because what's more fun than taking a settlement from the undead? As the last rest of their, the last of their bindings shatter, we will go ahead and claim it victory here and take back the city of Wordpad. And after a rather glorious battle there, we come out extremely on top. Only had to use two agony successions. We probably could have got away with absolutely zero since we only lost five in the fighting. Uh, you mess with the forest too much, and we'll come on out and deal with you ourselves. I will go ahead and sack work bad for that hefty sack gold. Game. So much money. And plus, it's just the Empire anyway. We are, we'll do as much damage as we can to the Vampire's uh, treasury before we destroy them. Ryan Blade, this glittering sword has been wielded by some of Gislev's greatest heroes throughout the ages. It's freezing blade, able to part the hardest of armor. It doesn't give it any extra armor piercing, so a little bit of a misnomer there, Rhyme Blade. You've got a smuggler as well, although illegal, most folks don't think much of cutting a few corners in the name of good business. Indeed, because Hala now has a little bit more income from trade tariffs. Because we're smuggling. Alright, well, do we let the vampires rebuild work bad for us? He might want to, but then I think the Imperials can claim it, so we'll, we'll take this so we can uh, power up our markets a little bit more with this line. Leader of Kislev's warriors. Alright, we've already got a Karkamaz in. We'll go ahead and kick the form set out. That way we can plop on in the uh, Vintner instead. Chosen Drusina. Evan, your valiancy has gained you more skills. We'll give you the standard ground ability with that very, very nice uh, extra 24 melee defense bump. We'll give our Kislevite warriors a lot of extra staying power. Or even the spiders, should we wish. Balalaika of the Arari. What a good skill this is. I like your Blessed Helm of the Oblast more right now. We, I will give you the Rhyme Blade. Weapon strength up to 490. It's the Rhyme Axe. I will give you the Shield of Silver to Steel as well. 85 armor is very, very nice. Now that looks good to me. There's so many Shields of Tholos out there. Let's, in fact, combine one up with a Dragon Helm. Let's see what we get. Ocean of Healing. Not bad. Always take more heals. Brenner Bitter Prog is immune to psychology. I don't think we need any war banners for you just yet. Well, construction time isn't a bad one to uh, keep. One extra control we could trade out for... But salvage these scarecrow banners. What we can do, trade this out for that banner of Prague there, since we're fighting all of the undead. It'd be a very good ability to make all of our spiders or all of our infantry immune to all of the psychology or the fear they might be passing on around. All right, good stuff. Zealot. Negative three corruption. A we want that on a power. hero more than anything else. So as far as the rest of the skills across this party go. Definitely want Arcane Conduit for our Hag Witch Beasts. Let's take a look at her magical items real fast, make sure she is all set up. Potion of Healing, let's go ahead and replace this. The Balalaika, I think, would be better on a Patriarch or someone who's going to be in the middle of our troops, more or less. Let's go Overblade on her so she can be smashing through the lines a little bit more decisively. Yeah, nothing else there really, really works for you. The excess ancillaries we can... Pass on off. Looks like we give you a Vagabond for more line of sight. 
And that's about it. Alright, well I'm going to go ahead and uh, salvage a few more veteran warriors there since we have a lot of lords under our control. We're not likely to have more anytime soon. Or at least we're not likely to have more than we have veteran warriors. Over to Shagan. Where we've got Solyak's Lullaby all maxed out. Same thing with our passives. Since you're on a great big bear, it might be a better idea to have a, a bit of a bump to our missile resist. But let's make sure he's staying in to fight the longest. Or we can go for Soothsaying to make his abilities. I think it, is it just his leadership aura size. Would love that also buffed how large your uh, abilities circles would be as well. So maybe this would also increase how large Slyak's Lullaby would affect. Uh, let's just go for Conviction first then. Drusina stand ready. As far as Kazahela goes, we'll give you the final point into Gust of True Flight. One must make use of this, this fear. You currently have a Blessed Helm of the Oblast. Oh yes, I, I quite like that on you as well. So our next Patriarch, we'll probably give the Balalaika to. Ulrika Magdava. Have Ulrika use it for now. We're healing. That'll do. Any ancillaries that Ulrika can use? Adamant's Administrator sounds awesome. And another Vodka Distiller. Boss for everyone. Commander of all the right, Soldier. Great. I don't think we changed what Kazahela was wielding. Oh, she's all maxed out already. Has been in our armies for quite some time. We're all out of talismans and arcane items, so in the meantime. You just wait. Your war bear should be well enough for now. I've right, got 24,000 treasury. Let's come on back over to the Bleak Coast and do some upgrading. Let's go ahead and take the seaport up. While Erengrad is the preeminent port in Kislev, there remain a few other substantial seaports on its meager coast. Or on the, on the uh, Bleak Coast that you've claimed. Haunted Forest there to gain access to our... Elemental incarnate beasts, those who walk among the trees, know something follows close behind, lurking somewhere in the dark. Also increase our capacity for hack, which is awesome. Might as well go for the Grand Ur uh, Salas. The larger stables are even grander, ensuring the most prized bear mounts are at peak condition when war comes. Yes, the very big icy ones. And then I do think we want the breastworks here since this is our most potent city. If we do have any kind of rebellion or anything goofy pop up here, we do want to make sure we can hold the line. Uh, lastly, we may just go for the ice port training fields. Convent of Ice would allow us to get an additional Frost Maiden, and then anyone sitting here would gain just a little bit of experience per turn, which is pretty solid. Or alternatively, we could go for our basic military and get the Royal Chapter House for those Griffin Legion. Griffin Legion have a new charge bonus called Glorious Charge. now. Wait for the blue line to go all the way across. And Glorious Charge will allow their charge bonus to be doubled and then enemy units take a leadership penalty as if they've been attacked in the flank. This is very similar to what you've got over on Pharaoh with the new Sheridan units. I'm thinking this will be the, the call here. Royal Barracks up to the Chapter House for those Griffin Legion. And now Arnheim is uh, all maxed out. We still have a fair bit of gold. So here's, here's a question. Since no one is quite attacked us here, we could send we could send this army through the. But I want to use the Jinx land since we want to burn through as much spirit essence as possible. We need 582 more used in order to use the recreant spirit. So if we could maybe just teleport, even we can teleport Kevin. Vlad is here. Teleport him away from Wartbed. Be all the way up here though. It'd be kind of a waste, wouldn't it? Also do the same with Stonkia. Currently I've got her hanging out in an ambush stance outside of Bidenheim again. We'll try to lure Festus on over, take him out, and then do the same to Edmund when he goes after Weissman. Lots of fights ahead for uh, Mama Stanky. So I guess instead we'll have to hang out in the Jinx land. Ooh, you know what? Here's how we'll get around that uh, random Adamant. Let's recruit a cheap lord here. Love the Georginas. So let's go... Wrong. 10% more resistance for himself, and then 5 more melee defense? Beautiful. 
I'm gonna kick you out immediately, but we'll use you later on. You were expensive. Good grief, dude. But for now, I'm gonna teleport you, Vitali. The battle against chaos never ends. You the griffin would. Just so we can use that uh, spirit essence. The call of home. Yoink. He's left. Sure. Rosina. And Vidali will we'll make use of you later on. Don't worry. Rosina. Back on the home front, Urkalisk is gonna have a couple more heroes joining on up. Agwitch and Hannah. And we've got two extra slots here, so let's go ahead and kick out. Let's kick out this unit of Kislev and this light warriors. Either want to try to use the bats in an army. So actually, let's go ahead and get rid of all of the hatchlings and replace My them with the bats. Not personal. And then I'm going to go for something kind of spooky with the bats where we give them... You'll see in a moment. Let's, let's go four bats. And then one more set of normal bears. No one that's being recruited over here for now is going to get any more bear riders. Normal stuff. You'd normally be like, what bats? Why? Because... We can come in here and give them either Spectre's Miasma and turn them into explosive bats. They're more like bomber drones, spirited away to summon in a elemental bear, or what I think is the most funny is we can give them Unburdened Step here and give them all devastating flankers, so they should be able to uh, outright annihilate things that aren't looking at them. Since you most of the time get flank, uh, flanking bonuses off when you are descending from the air. As long as you're doing it right. Uh, Mira, can we use you to steal any more tech? Or take down any of his friends. Let's go after Egrim here. Make that battle a little bit easier for us. I will Ooh, but you fail. Apologize for failure. You won't apologize for failure. Wise woman. Well, at least you're at least you're confident. Let's go ahead and grab. I would say specialist here because I'd like to use her actually as a hero this time. Lucia, you can keep following Vlad around, and if we could try to wound Adeline here, that'd be Such awesome. Poisons, I know. Oh, but you failed to. You'd be a good Ghostbuster, but turns out, nope. Not at all. No, we're not going to be constructing any outposts here in Nordland, but let's take a fast look at our diplomacy before we end the turn. The dragon I no one wants to make any deals without us spending, uh, spending money, so I'm not I going to. Thirst. This gold belongs to Kislev for now. They do not remember me at the ice court. What was I? Oh, they actually go after her gig. And we can hold them off with an auto resolve. Oh, what lucky for you. Uh, that's what we're gonna do then. Hearts of ice! See you later there, Doctor. We'll take the pardon as well. Does it go? Leave them to star. Age and wisdom do not make me a monster. What I do. You That's don't have that. to tell our allies that, though. You want us to join your war against Bellicor. The problem with that is Bellicor has a rift here in our home land, so he could be sending allies through. That could be interesting. Let's see if it... See what you try. How brave are the fools of Bellicor's armies? We just dropped down a curse mark on him. Successfully stole some tech from Zatan. That's not going to make the Chaos Dwarves mad at us or anything. Stonky the Sneaky, and then we've got another Trickster Cult discovered here in Wurtbad. You poor fools, now I get to destroy it. Mission successful. Yeah, Festus ran into a fight he absolutely could not win, which is bizarre. Uh, the minutiae of these regulations ensure that Erengrad's port is run in the most efficient way possible. 20% income from all of our ports. Champion of the mother. Right, so Vlad elected to go up past us. Oh, he's gonna go after Krugenheim directly. Interesting. Thou art unfit to govern me. Yeah, well, it looks like your strategy is to try to strike into our lands to distract us. It is too bad that Ubel here didn't find himself brave enough to go after Vlad. He would have lost, though. Been thousands of kills, but Vlad would have won. Alright, well, what we'll do then. I don't think he has any armies nearby. Let's see how big the Trickster Cult is here. Oh, good grief. The Agent's Hollow. A moment of potential. You weren't being very smart here. A blue Bonfire and a Puzzle Maker's Hollow. Or Hovel. We know his armies are horrifyingly powerful wherever he is. 
Go ahead and destroy this one, though. We'll use Kevin. Sprint on Come up to Krugenheim. None of our peasants kisses. will fall prey to vampires ever again. Unless they live in work bad, maybe. As is my right. Yes, this is your right. You can live there for some time. We'll go ahead and refill our agony succession. You are one false, no. I will bless you. So Arrowing coil looks really cool on the map, but it doesn't it doesn't really do that much. Frag minty, we absolutely need more of. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stock back up on on a burden step and a whiff of madness. Beautiful. Gotta wait a couple more turns to what looks like the jinx le Oh no, the uh, the blue line going around the outside is actually kind of the opposite of what I would believe. Okay, hey, you join up with Kevin here, who has all of the heroes already. I see the who would we red. sacrifice? One of our spiders, I guess, is the the easy More answer there. Model Rika. Welcome to the party. From the front. Chosen Drusina. Go ahead and have a trade quorum here at the Griffin Wood. They may choose to strike out. I we can make it there in the March stance, but ah, we can't teleport now. Which is not going to be the way. It's like the undead went back towards their home territory, which is a good idea. We're going to now aggressively oh, press towards like the brass keep here. Stonk ya. Let's get moving. Kislev needs us. Why, Terry? Kislev needs us. I don't even mind going into a march the stance. There's nothing behind that Asafar is going to be able to do to us. We should replenish more in friendly territory, and like this, we'll crack down on Brass Keep next turn here. Ooh. Oil Guardian. Extra experience and replenishment rate. Bigger loss reduction. This love Unite. As you take damage, everyone around you is going to do more damage back. Spell resistance. Okay. I'm trying to figure out the best path to take here since she is rolling with. She's rolling with Mother Astonkia. Let's go ahead and drop the cooldown on Urson's Claw. That uh, replenishment buff is only for Astonkia herself. So we'll just ignore that one just for now. It is strong belief, strong emotion. Indeed. Very I believe these actually count magic. as consuming spirit essence so let's go ahead and grab toil and trouble to grab the final secondary trinket slot 250 the snows never needed the adventure we'll also upgrade fire. the gold mine here in wolfenberg and chuck in some balls to make sure our gold mine stays safe urkalisk i like your army but we'll go ahead and kick out this group and like some more guys with rifles so likely what we'll have is an entire line of strelsi more warriors to defend kislev Oh, there's no Streltsy we can we can recruit in here yet, though. We could get some more sleds. I think this is an incredibly mobile army. Kind of like the idea of that. Let's get rid of all of these Kossars, including the ones we recruited through, uh, through Allied. Feels a little bit of a waste. And we'll add in these Light War sleds. We'll just do four of them. We'll, this will be an incredibly mobile army here. We use the Frostworm as a tank. Same thing with... Frost Maiden once she has her own war bear. Or and I will go ahead and grab the Smithery. Look it up. Yes. Spend some money to make friends with the Mohawk Dawi. Storm Dragon. Which I think is not a good call yet. Then repel chaos. And for now we just need to keep doing what we're up to. One rag. One rag. Child of the nine. Get up there and take down the hag hall as well for the motherland. Black witch. Mara, let's make you better at stealing tech. Anyone who has you'll pass on out. And we'll send you this. down the way. Not while we are useful. Not while you're useful. 
Go steal some from the Valerie now. That Gala the Bull Breaker. Rely on the hag. He's never met a hag before. New student. More research rate sounds awesome. For survival. The student already is now assigned to you, or do we have one? Needing a new master. I think it was automatically assigned, which is perfect. What is our research rate up to now? 221%. Yeah, let's see if we can have you take down any friends that Asavar is rolling with. Also just make him more tired for the next fight, which would work pretty well. Oh, unless you fail. Stronger Pokemon you need. Let's keep trying to take down Adeline. The greater they are. Make this fight even easier for us. Behind Ooh, she actually succeeded that time. So he may pull in some new zombies, but that is now one less Which? Banshee. At least for, for a time. Make you a specialist and continue to do the thing. Definitely go for the Gosman here in the Grey Rock Point. As well as... Probably do want some walls in there when we're able to afford them, so that's what we'll save for. A little bit too close to any enemy territory at the moment for us to just go for more income. You're not dead yet? Huh. Apparently I can't be surprised. We'll really use this quote for, for Ungram too, huh? Ready to fight with the Dawi lad. You get your eyes checked. Got a non-aggression pact. Sure. They're gonna move together to take down Weissmund, which makes sense because we've now left it undefended. Yeah, not much we can do here. We are Keyslet! No, you were Kislev. Really? I guess her gig is on the exact border across the way here. This is our fault. So now we have to make the choice of dealing with this uh, Dark Citadel or the vampires that have now pressed into our lands. Fair enough. Courage flows in our veins. Yeah, I always forget how easy it is to actually cross the gap between Talbheim and, and her gig. We will not make that mistake again. Nice one was sacked. Her gig was sacked. Something wicked definitely this way comes. Yeah, we've got an eyeball or whatever that heck this is, and then uh, ice cream cone that's melted. The most potent of magics. What are you up there, Gator? I don't like that you're setting up on the Ziggurat of Dawn. Go somewhere else. Who are you fighting? Oh, nobody. That's not a good sign. Hercules, we're going to need you to uh, rotate quickly. Ooh, there's uh, some mysterious island here. Can we give you some homies to uh, throw down with? No one that's very fast. Don't want to fight this. So let's come on into the ice court here. We've got the Envoy of Ice. This is a event we have read before, so let's go ahead and give her uh, the Magical Warrior. And Herculisk. Let's go ahead and start stacking up on these Spectres Miasmas. Oh, we can only get one. We need more bones. Ogre Kingdoms and Tomb Kings. Bird. We also need more stone, which we get from Cathay and the Dawi. Alright, so Agony Succession, and... Let's go Spirited Away. With Madness. Awesome. And now, onward to Vampires. By my command, we march! I love the, love the boat that Kislev has. Mist King clings to the ground and stubbornly refuses to shift even as your followers stride forth. We have read this one a couple times. This is the power that surrounds us, so we will either take the power of rage or the power of prescience. Let's take prescience for favorable winds. Your exploits on the high seas have heralded the nine weather, allowing for greater movement in these regions. 1500 treasury and favorable winds. Extra movement range. Doesn't allow him to get into this uh, settlement either way. How sad. Make sail! Champion of Kislev. 
Now we're defending Grey Rock Point. Let's go ahead and pop in the harbor here and walls. It looks like it's only a matter of time before we're going to have to start dealing with the skink invasion. Right, who has some gold for me to steal? Who has some gold? Apparently we can't steal anything from Hex Waddle. Oh, they have to be an enemy settlement. Keyword enemy. So we can siphon. Who has the most gold? I think it's still going to be followers of Slanesha. Uh, uh, you have to get in fairly close to actually see the, the amounts because there's so many of them. Making almost nothing here with the Norskins. 1600 is the highest with that group of undead. There's not much in terms of gold being made over here, so it is looking like Slendash is the way to go. Vestus isn't doing bad. We could siphon from him, but we're about to wipe out that faction, so let's let's absolutely not. Wisps to make burgers, mines for men. Stealing so kilos from the Tower of Crack. Such is the way. We'll be back to claim Talibheim soon, but first we need to eliminate Eller Alm being very opportunistic, aren't you? Now, sorry, Midnheim. We won't be doing any more building or repairing because we're about to lose, lose the settlement. Who calls? Could give it over to the Imperials. Midnheim doesn't exactly have anything that useful for us, so let's do it. Be at peace, for that is all I ever want. Enjoy the new settlement. Yes. We have a treaty. I want this one though for the timber. So mission, take down Asavar, who is hiding in this settlement currently. You poor poor fool. Just an old woman. Let's get him. Spirits brain dead! All right, perfect stuff. So we've got a pretty nasty army behind these walls here. Let's go ahead and pass out as many Agony Succession as we can. Fragment you to the Lord and the other Lord so that they fall apart without us even having to do anything to them. We absolutely Agony Succession down on this group of Chosen and these Plague Bearers. Let's go one more then to the other group of Chosen. Not really scared of any of the actual demon units. It's those extremely heavily armored chosen that are going to cause us any issues. Stuff. Don't need to use any of our blessings, and I want to keep stacking them up for uh, the future. Go ahead and get rid of Vanguard deployment on Mama Stankia. Make her very fast, and we'll give Nerissa Leska the uh, Vanguard deployment banner. All right, then. See our map we're rolling with here to destroy Grass Keep. See if we can find any entrances without any powers, but I don't think it's going to be the way. Onward, though, to glory. Let them face the might of the Golden Knight and Mother Estonkia as one. Nariska giving them the old Matrix taunt. It's time to throw down. She's going to be sent directly into the walls because she's actually one of the few heroes that has the Siege Attacker trait. Rakshina being Snipe variant, they're going to be able to fire completely unimpeded and without any kind of return fire from those towers, which is awesome. First things first, we've got rifles blasting away at uh, Mother Astonka and the Golden Knight as she moves on in. I think it's going to be pretty ineffective though. Nokia's first blast, getting a pretty good set of damage on the Chosen there and cursing them right away. And the sum of the bubbling cauldron unleashes its vortex spells here. About the only unit she could actually hit at the moment, so I was fine with blending up this group of demons. As you can see, the two vortexes are doing it fantastically. A much bigger blob starting to form up over here as we send all of the big siege attackers in to tear down the gates. A combination of Nareska and the Windagoofy should be perfectly proper to bring those gates down. A couple of whiff shots there from our from our hag witches. Chaos is completely uh, 
disorganized at the moment, though, I guess as their name would suggest. Your rock slide coming down in tandem with another bubbling witch cauldron. We've got no allies in the area. There's no reason to overcast it. Gonna blend on through. No problem. Add insult to injury. Yet another. Vengeance of spirits dropping down and ripping apart those who remain from the inside. It's coming down quite quickly, but they are going to start getting in each other's way. The big uh, beastie and Astakia, so hopefully not too many casualties will be uh, assessed on the way in. We can absorb a little bit of damage here. We've got a lot of missile resist and a lot of armor for normal. Some of the spiders will fall, but more than enough will make it on in. Not going to be a bit of foolish on this battle here. We've got everyone on this side. Enemy looks to be reorganizing quite slowly, but they are a bit slow on the uptake. Stock is now in, which means death is upon you. Another rock slide smashes on down. Stonky moves in to curse the Poison Hound to get them running on away, so we don't have to worry about lacing our back line with Doom. Spiders crawl on in and unleash their poisonous attacks into these plague bearers. Yet another cauldron pops up in the back line there. They thought I didn't notice them blobbing up, but I absolutely did. We'll have to hope those circle back around and actually hit the units that are fleeing, but the uh, the AI hive mind did a pretty good job of dodging. Top of Gulias to keep the lads topped off on health. And now the secondary gate is open, and death is truly upon them now. Golden Knight charging in alongside our elemental bear. So the other units directly into this barrier to try to smash on phase walk through the, the tower. Truly a spirit. And the almighty foot can get through there quite quickly as the frontal group of Chaos is being obliterated. Engines of Furious down have managed to catch both the Exalted Hero and the enemy Chaos Lord, so and no abilities for either. Uh, the Frost War move up for dealing with the Boar Beast Chariots. We have a really hard time getting away even. Those who survive. You can't just escape Estonkia. As more Vengeance of Spirits goes off in the back line there, just kind of ripping apart their reserve troops, making sure they're good and weak for when these spiders and bears actually make it on in. Not allowing those Gore Beast trees to escape. Storm is doing a fantastic job dealing. That barrier is now completely out of the way, so the spiders are able to get in and start giving the enemy the old love bites. Battle of giant hounds versus giant spiders. They lose. Spear bear swims on away. Let's see how much damage we get. Smashes into this group of marauders and sees most of the unit blended on away to nothing. Only 17 of their models, but that health drop was severe. You see some of the battle animations here in slow mo. Spiders are holding back hordes of both Nurgly Chaos Warriors and Marauders, absolute MVPs. It's too bad we don't have any uh, missile variant spiders where we can have them stand back and spit like webs at them or something. Or Beowulves, or the Beowulves are ripping apart the poor plague bearers, stopping them from doing any kind of healing. Beowulves in, in are pretty much the hard count of Nurgle. Can't say it this enough. And like that, Chaos's spine breaks. They don't ever have the courage they pretend to. And 
And just like that, the Fecundites find themselves on the knife's edge. Quick and simple. Holy. 16,000 gold to sack the settlement. I mean, let's just go ahead and loot and occupy. You lose 6,000 of that gold, but I can make sure that, oh, they're not completely gone. They've gotten Norded. But luckily now, their recruits are going to be incredibly weak. It's mostly going to be things like Marauders, so we should be able to hold them off nigh indefinitely now. Do I have any kind of ROR units that, yeah, that uh, Estus has gained through his own level ups, but doesn't seem like that should be a problem at all. Hercules has got a war horse. Middle Mountain secured. And we've got a plague here, the Brasky. Thankfully, just the bleeding ears. That doesn't seem so thankful to me. Let's fix up the Brass Keep. I repair our Cinnabar mining pit here. Cinnabar, also known as Blood Rock, is a mineral which contains mercury, prized by alchemists and dye makers alike. More income from all of our markets, more winds and magic power capacity, and then uh, the normal income and dyes produced. We'll also go ahead and just chuck in a Marcus Square here immediately. And also the good old Roadhouse for control and growth. Version steps for even more control. And we should be able to move along and just leave the, mid uh, the middle mountains to themselves. Now, Boar Kill Ship Taker. As for our next bit of technology here, the settlement's entire province income will be provided. Purification chant stops it from gaining any additional corruption, which could be good by for capturing one settlement in a mostly chaos controlled area stops them from moving entirely or allows us to toilet teleport any army to the chosen magical forest who see this could be useful for just attacking random armies all right all right we've got lots of good options here let's go for jinxed portal though because we could make the most use out of this the land the tales the cities 478, so it doesn't look like the research actually counts towards your Recreant Spirit count, which is a bit sad. Let's see if we can make any deals with the Dobby then. Zyles and the Hacker throwing down with the Ancestral Throng, which, sure, why not? Let's go find the other Dobby though. Greetings. Military access no with Karak and Vryn. We haven't met Dripping Fangs or Crooked Moon, otherwise I would absolutely help them out in their war. Sure enough. Break out the Bugmans. We were now with Cathay. You... Trusted allies, what information do you Give you 7,000 gold for a trade agreement? Uh, no thanks. We will make friends with them in due time. It is good to see you. Much has changed. Much has indeed changed. Looks like he is making a no friends with the lizard, so I'll let them declare war hopefully on him first, and then we can jump in and help. They shouldn't even see it coming. Back up to Fleet Coast, where we can maximize our caravans here. Traveling east to west across the Empire to Marienburg and Talaya, and even through the passes of the World's Edge Mountains. 300 income generated and 50% more trade, uh, tradable resources produced in this local province here will be very good for, I think, just our our Urslazas. Slavas. Oh, we'll continue to mess that one up. I don't think anything else here is going to build in or give us any trade goods, which is a bit sad. Is that local province or local region? Where are you hiding? Local province. Oh, that's actually much better than I thought. We've got uh, timber here in two places. That'll boost up how much we are producing. Resentment grows. Drujena. Here at Sildurator, we'll go ahead and upgrade the walls. And that looks to be about all we can do. Perfect, we have a lot of gold sitting in the background for upgrades when we can meaningly apply them. Where did Vlad go? Disappeared. Champion of the Motherland. Let's come on in. You've got most of your red skills sorted out, so let's go for. Wouldn't mind seeing what Curse Frontier is all about. 
An extra reload skill is pretty solid, so let's give you hard to hit and start working down your yellow line. Who calls? Stonky, I will give you that draft master. Call me witch? Rika is almost all finished up here with skills. We'll just start popping those into specialists then. Sometimes rules they need to be broken. As long as they're not Mother Kislev's rules. Breaking those would end up with you broken. Let's go Curse of the Ancient Witch. And then for the Golden Knight, two extra skills for her too. Let's grab the Golden Wall and Chosen Successor. Working on towards Kislev Unite. So what we'll Kislev. do with Kevin, because there's no way that Vlad isn't nearby in an ambush. We'll do the same. Respect my possession. Pop out of Krugenheim here and drop into Stance an ambush stance. As a snow leopard. Silent as a snow leopard. Noble of the Oblast. 65% chance all around. Ooh, 90% here on this other side of Krugenheim, so that's what we'll do. As long as we're close enough, we can reinforce. I'm happy. Hag witch. We'll send tomorrow to keep trying to steal technology. For Kislev. While exploring, and for the fortress of eyes, Kislev's warriors. Indeed, Arkalisk. So we'll give you an additional point into what do you got here? Just a bunch of beasties, and you've got what light war sleds. Drusina stand ready. So skilled craftsman gives them a little bit more armor and later on more ammunition. Good stuff. A symbol of my power. And which? Azamira. Let's send you around to keep an eye on uh, Norden. We can maybe drop kick one of these uh, heroes on our way by. You'll soon see. No repairs there because they're just gonna just gonna lose them all the same. You try to move fake down in debt. Oh no, wrong, wrong target. Zero percent chance. Let's come on back down then and do some scouting. I'm glad I just run on home. Spirits. It's definitely an ambush somewhere. Great the work bad would end up probably wasted, so we'll, we'll save that gold there too. The of the land. Although still with Nordland, which we are going to not do. Instead, Nanny. let's go ahead and turn. What names are these rebellion where? So well, such is the way. We will deal with those peasants in due time. Orson, what use is it then? Age and wisdom do not make me a monster. What I do... Well, hello, Gilgalion. He has ended his... What happened? It's deteriorating aggressively. Oh, I don't want to have a war with the elves. Oh, lovely, the Kislev where rebels have come on in. All of our curses and blessings will be completely useless since it is the Kislevites, so let's let them have Weissmund, I guess. Motherland never falters. Your mustard cloak shall be stained red in time, friend. Funny that the, the Norskins didn't do anything about it either, they just let that happen. Bizarre. All well, the Sarl are gone and Weissmund has been looted. Magical Forest is a dark, winding labyrinth, so easy to stumble into, and near impossible to escape. Auckland is also going to have a rebellion, same thing with Auckland. Or the workers, deal with Grog Malthusdire. Dude, we definitely need to try that, where are you hiding? Before we leave then, Azamira, your new target. Of death. Oh, you quite, can't quite reach him. Yes. Yeah. Upgrade the Cinnabar Pit, Merchant Traders, and the Park Samaz. Just an old woman. We'll bring out our terrifying old woman. And Things in the woods. We're going to replace these final Kiss the Light Warriors here with another big beastie. I just got to figure out exactly which one we want to utilize. Reichland has no big beasts yet. I'm betting they're going to get the Carmine Dragons here very soon, which will be awesome. This is like, 
this church would be, I think, a waste of gold. This boar kill could just move on in and take him down. Sprint down to Hergig. And we'll take Kalabheim from them. Ludwig, Ludwig was hiding up in the north. Defender He's raiding now. I need to deal with you right. now. For the motherland. Indeed. He ran away, but we can just we pursue. Must protect nature's bounty. Moves all corruption. Do we have anything that currently has any? We do. Grass keep. Purified. Salian, mother. 466. We're moving quick. So let's again, replenish our agony succession. I like to have about four of them no. sitting in reserve. I will bless you. Same thing so with Fragmenti, as many as we can, and then we'll switch on over to the Unburdened Step. Four of our uh, devastating flanker bats. Forest hag. Beautiful. So I'm not going to go ahead and waste any more turns just upgrading, except for maybe the beguiled offerings here, because this will give us the entire province income instead of only 50% of it. And from there, we'll start upgrading our actual research again. All right, all right. I might be willing to part with some of my gold, not 4,000. You're crazy. I stand up. The Empire. Absolutely. Offensive pact with Balthazar Gelt. Give me your monies. Will be right. We can take a military alliance as well. Sold. Agreed. And immediately, I'm going to go ahead and pop in an outpost. Hopefully, Reichlin doesn't just confederate you right away. But if that happens, we'll, we'll take the punishment. I'm thinking... Rinstots? Let's see if we can't... Up in our outpost somewhere a little bit safer. Wissenberg wouldn't be a bad call, but they don't have any actual good units there. Averheim might be a bit more dangerous, but at least we get some mortars and some war wagons, which we can use to a pretty devastating effect. Mobility is, is key there against the undead. It's only 400, so let's see if we can lure out Vlad. Evan, you move up to crush Ludwig. Ooh, a decisive win. I want fortunate for you guys. Fight for Kislev. Next time, I'll actually pass out the banner of Prague, and we'll give this to the uh, Kislevite warriors. They're the one holding the front line. Let's take the replenishment. Victory makes us stronger. Can I immediately move to take Talibheim? I will absolutely trade a minor settlement for Talibheim. Commander of the soldier. Oh, so we'll we'll fall back. This land is ours. Make sure we are replenishing. Your Beautiful stuff. Oh, Hercules will give you your additional unit up. Glory of Kislev. Light war sleds for now. Also, go ahead and upgrade the royal chapter house back home in Averheim. Griffin Legion are on the way. Guardian of the land. Well, luckily, we'll have something to get rid of our cave bats for. Cave bats are obviously nowhere near as strong as, as the Griffin Legion. Go for the good old roadhouse here to help out with control and growth. Evan, let's give you a bit more ammunition and reload time reduction. Increase your overall damage. Because of how many arrows you're throwing out. Come on back over with Irina and grab the secondary point into Weiss's wild form. Very, very good buff spell there. Blessing discs. The Stalton's flat metal discs inscribed with Urson's runes and icons inspire even Glory greater keys when awarded to the worthy. Let's see. Rosina ready. Here's your good boy medals. The noble choice. Little Rika, we get to get confident old rounder. Let's go ahead and grab your passive buffs of Increasing mobility. A glorious day for Kislev. And then uh, spread control. Grab the passive bonuses first, and then we'll start buffing up probably her magic. Her gig has been sacked. Let's go fix things up. And still an outpost here in Middenstag. I'm thinking no. We're gonna ignore you every time. Well, that's going to be the turn.
strange dead bits of paper keep us from one another's throats. Well, hello, Castalton. Military alliance for 2,900. You have more gold you're willing to give me? Put that up above. 5,000? Oh, you're only allowed to give me three. There will be I'll take no it. Retribution. No retribution this day. Got the mental image of a Castalton and uh, Mother Astalkia rolling up their sleeves and doing the muscle arm bro handshake to deciding that chaos is indeed the bigger threat. Though so, uh, Osland has rebelled. Poor fools. Oh, Osland's back. For a very short period of time. Weak minds are so easy to break. With the right words, whole towns blink in delusion, drawn under their new master's hypnotic sway. We're also about to have a rebellion at the Ashen Coast. Not really. Well, they're gonna have to deal with that, not me. Iron Spike is not the capital. Poor fools. We demand due respect. You can demand your due respect elsewhere. Head on back over to Kislev, where I'm thinking we can just drop Kate Calibine with a quick, uh, quick auto resolve. I don't see where Vlad went. Test me at your Maybe they're gonna go after Bechefin? Thinking that we're weaker up here in the north? Which we are, but I, I will absolutely fight these battles. To hold on to the major settlements. Alright, well, Kevin, you go ahead and surround Calibon. Probably won't even have to fight Destroy this one. Them for Kislev. Yep, let's bring Mother Astonka in to help, though. That way she's getting some extra skill points. Ends justify me. Indeed. You hit them from the north. The wrath of Kislev! And Dalabheim falls like a domino. Feel my wrath! 79 fall, probably to Astonka's spells themselves, and we'll just have you occupy Dalabheim as is. Addition to my holdings. Exactly. New weapons and followers. And we'll have a stonky move up here towards Wolfenburg. Although, this is just a bunch of spearmen, isn't it? We've got one more turn before the walls go in. I think we'd hold the line. Since there's no military buildings here, the rebellion is not going to be very strong. The second you start putting in military buildings, that rebellion gets beefed up aggressively. Go ahead and move into a march dance next to Biddenstag. That way, if this fool attempts to attack, we can drop kick him into orbit. Ice Fightress. Ice maidens are dedicated attendants of the Zarina, but also burgeoning sorceresses in the arcane lores of the Motherland. Some also seek out the Ice Guard to learn their martial ways as well. Should the maiden cast or fight? Well, both. Why not both? Let's make her a cast, though. Extra 10 wins of magic sounds great. The spirits agree. Specialist for you there. The people are Great her giggle once more. Kevin can hold the line here at Talibheim, no problem. Great Talibheim as well. Noble of the Oblast. As a Halo will give you the magical reserves and then probably switch back over to Ox of Mishka here. They're not all that strong in terms of damage, but that discouraged effect against all of the zombies we're fighting is going to be very, very good. Plus, the Rosanna lack of armor piercing means it's not going to do much against our units, so it'll just kind of sweep through enemy lines and make them make them real sad. So, Melkos there. Those were crazy. For the spirit of Kislev, we just need to require two more technologies. So improved empire relations is 20 more diplomatic relations, or we can get an ice court training slot for the ice witch lords. And also give us a little bit more recruitment for Kislev units and control Let's go for that. We prepare. Chaos waits for no one. Chaos waits for no one. Make our unburdened step. Make our specter's miasma. Incarnate's Wrath. I like that. More blessings here, and then we'll grab our Whiff of Madness. Times two. Awesome. Oven's Curse Mark. Is anyone foolish enough to sit in our lands? 
Well, you are. Yeah, indeed. Welcome to being cursed. 398 more spirit essence. See if you can escape in time there, mine rab. If you go after any of these settlements, I think you are done city. Hercules, we may want to get ready for a preemptive strike on Hexawaddle. Let's for now move on in and grab this other land for the taking. remnant of battle. Land for the taking. Sea for the taking. Leader of Kislev's warriors. A little bit closer there. Beautiful. Daring. Tomorrow we'll send you on your oh, oh, merry journey. No one Back up the Iron Storm. Lady. Well, sometimes. You guys don't always succeed. Knowledge taken. Critical failure. She trips on a rock and the entire cart gets exploded. But the turn of events. I don't mind upgrading the vineyard here in Sterland. The pockets of order are starting to reclaim the land little by little. Right, we skip through the imminent rebellions, and this will be the final turn here for this episode. It is the cold that makes you shiver. Not myself. He's a rare beauty. We have a contract ready to sign and be done. Military access for 3k. Why don't we also trade? Get a non-aggression pact. Oh, hang on now. Before we get that non-aggression pact, I will take all the way up to the military alliance. That way we get the stone with them. Awesome. We have an agreement. Problem is, this is now going to make us enemies with all of the... Well, I think all of the wood elves, pretty much. Right, she failed the wound, Grog, and that's just fine. It gained that trinket for becoming buddies with the, uh, the Dawi, exactly what I wanted. Ollie's back and ready for duty. Ooh, mission aborted. Because Azazel just got drop kicked. Away, and then we've got the Motherlands, a little helper. Helping out the Ice Court will give us some treasury and better diplomatic relations. Great stuff. Well, that is going to be all the time I've got for today. Thank you all so much for stopping by today's Mother of Stonky episode. If you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like for the like god and a sub for the sub phone. I'll see you all in the next one.